Fresh off the boat that was 2022 Survivor Blood vs. Water, Jordy Hansen is returning to the game of Survivor once more with his usual grin and a whole lot more maturity. Dubbed as the Joker by himself and fans of the show, Jordy is keen to play into his villain moniker, telling TV Week that he was ready to manipulate players and opportunities within the game. Everyone gets given luck and chance but it's about how you manipulate that luck and chance in your favor. You need to be ready to for any chance that comes, you've got to be able to act and respond in those moments when luck and chance present themselves. So how does he feel as a returning player from last season which aired less than 12 months ago? I think that being one of the returning players you are a target, especially a player whose season aired only a year prior, Jordy says. They know who you are, they know how you play, so I knew that they were gunning for me. But whilst a lot of returning players tended to hide in the shadows and try to blend in that really wasn't for me. But regardless of new and returning players, Jordy is of the mindset that everyone is on the same playing field, regardless of experience. Whilst some have big egos and call themselves some kind of royalty, regardless of what you call yourself, you are just the same as me so I wasn't too worried about who would be joining me. Another big change for Jordy this season is that he will be playing without his brother Jesse. It definitely changed things. When you are playing with someone like your brother you know you have someone you can trust and so going out there this time around is a lone ranger changed things. But regardless, Survivor is unpredictable, so no matter the circumstances, or how you prepare it's always going to be difficult, and you aren't going to change the inevitable outcome. This season was also filmed in the tropics of Samoa, a far cry to the outback camp Jordy competed in a year ago. Samoa was far harder, to play in. I grew up camping in the Australian outback so that wasn't too much of a challenge. Whilst it was hot in the outback, it's the humidity in Samoa that gets you, and the rain, and the tropical storms, it was just a really wild place. It's wild out there, I heard stories of people having crabs on their faces but to be honest I was more worried about just keeping dry. And did you keep dry we ask him, I think you can assume no, he responds with a laugh. <laughs>